Hello peeps and how's how's all doing today? I'm doing not good, I suppose you could say. Because I was watching this documentary on OTE1 and I commend OTE for doing this. And I'm sure every Irish man and every Irish woman who is watching that documentary tonight is ashamed to be Irish and ashamed to be a Catholic. Because what I've seen in that documentary tonight Women have no place in the country or something like that. No place for women in the country, sorry. It was disgusting what I seen. Laundry homes where women were forced to walk. And were governed by the church, the Catholic Church of Ireland. In the 1940s and in the 1930s. And so forth. And the mother and baby homes... And I could go on. Children dying in the mother and baby homes and be buried in pots and in ditches. And these were supposed to be men of God and women of God. And were the, they were the devil themselves. And it was the disgust and the disgrace on what the church done to this country. And in that documentary, I'm sure every woman who experienced this, who are on the documentary tonight. And I give them great, great credit for speaking up. The church has no say in the ruling of this nation now. And we must rise up against the devil, which is the Catholic Church. For what they've done to this country is more than what the British Empire has done. The British may have starved us during famine, but at least they give us our dignity and, may, and didn't make us pay for everything. The church made uh, used us for our money, and if we did not pay, they would stand up and make a laugh for us in front of the whole community. And don't even sound about same sex marriage and all that. They were fiercely against it. And they opposed of it. And cut deception and all that. They were opposed of it. And that's why we're so late coming into the government here. In the 1990s. It was a disgrace what the church done and what I seen tonight. Women getting split up from their children in baby homes. And sentenced to prison for months, years, life. For not saying to anybody they had a baby and hiding the baby. And they got sent to prison for it. And this is in the 1920s and the 1930s. And put in prison for life. Put in the mother and baby home. Put in the laundry home for life. Now what kind of a church? Or what kind of a state? Under what government? Under what God? Under what state of mind was anybody... In heads of government or the heads of the church in. Because they must have been in the devil's quarters themselves. And they were my criticizing people for not paying and they were calling them the devil. But really, the church, the Catholic church, and I hope everybody in Rome and every bishop and archbishop in Rome can hear me now. And if you want me to speak clearer, I get a microphone and I speak it and I put loudspeakers up in Rome and I put loudspeakers across Italy to make sure the Pope hears this. Because this country has suffered terribly because of this Catholic Church. So many women, even to this day, are looking for their child that the nuns, the nuns took away from them and put them up for adoption. Now you tell me, what kind of a church does that? Nobody can explain it. What kind of people were they? They took the child off their mothers, their wife for owners, and put them up for adoption, adoption without even the mother saying. Because they wouldn't marry before they had the baby. Over that small little crime, they put them up for adoption. And I heard a woman today speaking on the documentary that said she couldn't find her baby still. God knows the baby could be dead, lying in the bottom of a lake, 
the Christian church made it, the Christian brothers made it through in the lake. And don't even get me started about poor Claire's, which happened in Calvin. Where the nuns, there was a fire in the comfort, where there was orphans. And, and there was, and instead of letting them out, this was during the middle of the night. The nuns decided to lock them in and let them born to a crisp. Now, what kind of evil was that? 53 children born to a crisp. Not even a joke. It took a day to put out the fire. And there was nothing left of the poor children. And you call this a Christian church. I call it the devil themselves. And I am fierce angry. And I call on the heads of the government. And if you have a mind and if you have a heart at all. To tell the Pope. And tell the whole Christian faith. In this country. That they have suffered too much because of this. And Leo Franco, the Maya Presta himself, means to go to the High Bishop of Ireland and tell him to get the hell out of Ireland. And back to that whore of a place called Rome, where the Mafia and all them stay. Because that's where the Pope was in, the Mafia. Not this Pope, but the Popes before. We're all involved with the Mafia, all because of money. Money, greed. Power. Well, I tell you one thing to every woman and every child and every man watching now and listening to me on radio and on television or whatever you are listening to me, that the church has seen the last legs and last days in this nation and we must rise to make our voices heard and make the Pope himself apologise for the abuse in the church. And these poor, poor women will get some justice. Women that have died in mother and baby homes. Women that have died because of their policies. And women that were sent to prison for no apparent reason. Because the state set them. Because the church had their finger up the sta Irish state's ass. And I have to say, the person who started all this was Mr. Eamon de Valera. And I have nothing more to say than had he was for what he done. For letting the church off with so, so much. And letting so many Irish children die. And Irish women die. In metal assignments and everything. Because the church said so. And if the church said so, they'd stay to have to follow them. They were higher than the government. They were higher than the president. And you say that the Christian. Now, let me tell you one thing. I'm a Christian myself. And I have no faith in the people on this planet of Christian descent or Christian faith. I don't have any faith in the nuns. I met if there's some good nuns, let me tell you. There's so one or a few good nuns I met in my life. And there's some good priests. But enough is enough. The church has seen the last days and the people of Ireland must rise up and tell the church that they are not welcome in this country. And tell them they owe this country so, so much in return. And this Pope, I hope he's a good soul himself and not involved with mafia in Italy or any other country. I hope to God and to all the people of 1916, who wanted this republic to be more, not just a state for Christianity, a, straight, a state for religion, for religion freedom, for the freedom of speech, and the church did not allow that. The freedom of life, the freedom for all our citizens, and not just letting women do what they want, and say the women's place are in their home. The, free, the men and women of 1916 went out, went out and fought for Irish independence and died for the hope and dream that every Irish woman and every man must be free and must be free to do what they want and what they please without the Christian church abusing them and taking their lives, taking their livelihood, 
Make them pay money to them. Well, I swear to God. I ask every man and every woman and every child listening to me now. To tell the man in the hours. Or the man in the doll. That we have enough. And the Christian church's days are numbered. And as a Catholic myself. May God have mercy on my soul. Because there is a God up there. But the people he set down. Are the devils himself. And there's some good priests out there. And there's some good nuns. I know I met a few of them in my time. They were very helpful to me. And I do apologise to them. They are worthy to stay in this country. But the people. The old priests are in nursing homes now. Some of them that are sexually abused children. And all that. And they should be locked up. Shot. Keep it off the way now. Shoot the bastards. Don't even give them a chance. To protest their innocence. Because they don't even deserve a chance. Because they had loads and loads of years to protest their innocence. And I hope the message are clearly out to everybody. And I don't care what happens. But the church will not shut me up. They might shut you up. But they won't shut me up. And if they shut you up. You shut them up ten times worse. Thank you.